What's up everyone, it's Franchise923, and in this video I just wanted to show you how you can download all of your Strava data. Um, just download it locally to your to your computer. So um, all you have to do is head over to Strava.com and then click on Settings, and then under My Account here, just click My Account, and where it says Download or Delete Your Account, just click Get Started, and basically um, I actually requested my data uh, earlier this afternoon so it's saying download unavailable you've reached your weekly limit but um, for you, you there should be a button here that you can say to uh, request your archive basically um, and then you request the archive and then maybe an hour or, or two hours later I got this email uh, and I was able to download the archive and inside of um, it's basically just a zip file inside of here was all of my um, running activities so you can see I downloaded it earlier, but I'll just extract this and just take a peek at it. And you can see here we have this activities CSV. And this is just a CSV file that's listing all of the activities and it's, it's up to date. So you'll notice, I think I went for a run the other day, December 27th, 2020. I have a run. I have no idea why it's like slightly out of order, but this was the last run that I ran. Um, but yeah, it's all on here. So if you're interested in a particular run or walk or activity, just you're going to want to uh, take note of this number here because this is the ID of it. Uh, activity ID. And then if you go into activities, each um, activity here has an ID. So the one I just grabbed was this. Um, so let's try searching for it. So there it is. Um, so that's our, our, our data. So I'm going to actually uh, pull this into QGIS, which is a, it's an open source GIS software. And this is just going to let us visualize the data quickly. Um, so let me just drag this in and just click OK. And you can see here, here's the, the walk that I did at one point. Uh, let me just bring this in, bring it to the bottom. So there you go. There's a, a quick way to download all your Strava data. Um, in future videos, I'm going to show how we can, uh, you know, bring in all of our data. Uh, I might do a video with ArcGIS. Um, actually, if you don't have Q, so QGIS, this is totally free. You can download it. Um, let's see how we can do this with Google Earth. Uh, I'm pretty sure we'll have to convert um, the GPX to KMZ. KMZ is what um, Google Earth uses. So let's just try dragging this in here. Add files. Let me see. All right. Let's continue. I'll put KMZ. Convert now. Cool. Download. And now that we have that downloaded, I'm just going to extract it. So now this is in KMZ format. So this is something like Google Earth can understand. So if we try going over to Google Earth, should just be able to bring it in. Um, so this is if you, if you don't have QGIS or ArcGIS and you don't want to download it, you just want to look at it in Google Earth, uh, this should work. So let me, I don't know if it might be able to just drag it in. No. Um, projects. There we go. Import KML file from computer. And that's it. So I'm going to block that for now because I don't know what it said. But there we go. So now we have it in. Uh, Google Earth didn't have to download any program and let's see if we click on these points we get this all this data about it so we get the time the elevation um, surprise latitude and longitude it's probably what how this is displayed here route points I don't think let's hide all of this Okay, so let's just try track points. All 
I'm sure there, I'm sure there's a way to get latitude and longitude here. Uh, but anyway, that's just what I wanted to show you guys in this quick video. Um, yeah, like I was saying earlier, I'm going to show you how we can um, do a little more analysis with QGIS and ArcGIS. Um, but yeah, hopefully that was helpful, and thanks for watching.